Captain Monty Graham with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. The tides and the winds have been fluctuating uh, this week, uh, but on them light wind mornings, uh, and the seas are down to one, two footers, we've been running out here to the south jetty. Uh, still been slot reds out here uh, in that 20 to 30 foot of water using cut mullet, uh, cut manhaden, if you, if you have any cut manhaden, or uh, cut ladyfish, or even the bigger live shrimp have been working, uh, depending where that current's at and how hard it's running out or in. I've uh, been using between a one ounce and a three ounce weight and just dropping it straight down. Uh, I use my fish locator, and once I find the bulk of the school of the fish, then that's when I really start concentrating on that area. Uh, north and south have been working real well. Uh, the sheephead are rolling in pretty pretty steady right now. So if you come on the outside of the north jetty and start working these outside rocks, uh, I'm using a knocker rig with the quarter ounce weight right on top of a number two kale hook and throwing it as close to them rocks as I can without getting hung up. We've been catching the bigger, bigger sheephead up tight on the rocks. Uh, as the bait drifts off, then your speckled trout and your redfish have been biting. And even we've been catching some black drum out there. Uh, not the real big black drum, but, you know, between 15 and 18 inches. And been a good good mess of fish all down this north side uh, of the north jetty. Even been some pompanos out here. Small hook, live shrimp has been the ticket. Uh, if you got a north wind... Just reverse it. Get back over here on the south jetty and start working these rocks back towards the beach. Plenty of sheephead, all good side ones. Uh, if it's too rough to get out or you got a smaller boat, stay on the inside and start working these rocks on from the tip of the jetties back in. Uh, there have been redfish, there have been trout, there have been sheephead. Uh, also, there's been uh, signs of red snapper uh, coming into our jetties right now. We cannot keep red snapper until January 1st, but if you're out there and you're catching them, well, that's, you know, uh, another another pull on the line, and uh, I would release them until January 1st, and then you're able to keep them as long as they're uh, 15 inches, you know. Um, also, over here at the old McDermott docks, over here what we call the field docks, all this area over here been holding uh, a lot of sheephead through here. Uh, your 15s, uh, the 16, 17 inches, uh, what we've been catching through here, mixed in with a few slot reds. Even out here in front, uh, early in the morning or late part of the afternoon, bull reds have been hanging off in here. Uh, slot reds, sheephead, a few mangroves still hanging around. Uh, if you're wanting the bull reds, put on a bigger weight, drop it straight down, or... If you want your slot reds or mixed in with some uh, bulls, then free line or use a popping cork right out here close to these rocks. Uh, out here in front of Charlie's Pasture, um, in front, right by these houses, all the way down these rock piles through here. Uh, Sheephead have been running through here. Black drum mixed in with a few speckled trout first thing in the morning. If that tide is down and you can tell it's low, then I've been coming into Island Moorings. And working these edges of these back little lakes right through here, off the edge of the channel, there have been black drum, there have been redfish mixed in with speckled trout. If you're just looking for speckled trout and redfish, uh, your piggies and your pin perch have been working very well. Uh, free lighting them up in these back coves have been working real well. If you're looking for your black drum, um, you know, dead shrimp or live shrimp. All back behind these houses, uh, around these docks, been still holding black drum, redfish, uh, mixed in with speckled trout also. So a lot of good fish, a lot of good areas to work just in that little area um, through Island Moorings. If you come back out and you come down on this rock pile that comes all the way down Mustang, especially on the north wind, this is good area through here for redfish and sheephead and speckled trout. Uh, live shrimp, uh, smaller the better, and just using a quarter ounce weight right on top of the hook has been the ticket for me. Still a good area to be targeting uh, this time of the year. 
uh, out here on Island 1, 2, 3, and 4, all in the potholes. Uh, dead shrimp, live shrimp, uh, piggy perch, pin perch, uh, a lot of good reds through here. Been a lot of shorts, but you can, if you work the four islands and use them sand, sand pockets, you can get you a mess of uh, redfish through here mixed in with some trout. Now, if you got dead shrimp or even live shrimp, uh, there have been black drum all in the potholes through here. Uh, some mornings they're fired up. And some days you got to work them a little longer. It seems like a mid-morning bite. But these islands are holding fish. Uh, out here on the on the Klondikes, uh, all this area through here, working these little broken islands all the way down to the old terminal. Uh, this area also been holding good redfish and good black drum through here. Uh, if you're looking for the speckled trout, uh, this time of the year right now, California hole. Popping corks and your favorite plastics or even uh, live shrimp has been working real well. Uh, north winds, you can get over here on, on Shell Bank on the inside and work this through here with some cut mullet or your uh, favorite cut baits and work these potholes through here. And there's been redfish all working through here. Now tides have been uh, pretty low. So if you're not familiar with this area, be careful. You will get stuck if you get up there a little too tight. It, it's deeper the further you stay out, but the further you go in, it gets shallow. So you all be careful through here. Uh, out here in front of the Lexington, all the way down to the T-Heads, this area, first thing in the mornings, uh, you can either use your favorite uh, plastics or uh, Rapala rattle trap, uh, good trout all down here on the outside of these rocks. Uh, as the morning comes on, I'll switch over to dead shrimp with just a lead head, and there have been good black drums. And what I do is I concentrate on the openings in between these rocks, and I'll work the points. And I'll be able to catch my redfish, uh, black drum, and speckled trout with a few mangroves. The sheephead are starting to show up on these rocks also. Uh, so these are good areas to target all the way back down to the Lexington. Uh, out here in front of the old RV park on these set of rocks out here. Uh, speckled trout, uh, sheephead, good area to target. When I'm using, when I'm going out to Corpus Bay, I always got live shrimp. Um, pretty much just freelining, uh, just with the number two or number three kel hook, uh, a leader, and that's pretty much it. Uh, on them calm mornings, as y'all well know, I like it out here on these wells. These wells right now are full of speckled trout. Uh, our limits are five fish per person, 15 to 25 with one over 25. So if you get out here on these wells, get your fish finder, kind of go around these wells, locate the school. Once you get located then, if you got a trolling motor or your anchor, spot lock it. Work that area. Don't don't give up on it. You know, hit that one area 15, 20 minutes. Uh, some mornings they're fired up as soon as you get there. Some mornings it takes a little longer, but there's bull reds out here, a few slot reds, upper slot reds, uh, pompano, black drum, um, but a lot of speckled trout. So And sheephead are starting to show up out here on these wells. Uh, and you catch them bigger sheephead out here. You're talking 19 to 22s. Um, 19 to 22 inches. So this is some great area to work. Just make sure it's calm out here when you do get out here. Uh, if the wind starts picking up, I suggest getting off off this big bay because it does get rough. Uh, and out here on Portland Shoreline, another good area, all the way from Indian Point Pier all the way down to the golf course. Uh, these little piers that come off these houses. Good areas to target. Uh, black drum, speckled trout, depending if that tide is way out uh, and you see that shoreline uh, way out on that bank. Uh, redfish with, with your favorite cut baits. Bend the ticket. If you like uh, using artificials, uh, super spooks first thing in the morning, and then as the sun starts poking up, I'll swap over to plastics, either free line with the lead head, or I'll go back to a to a, a popping cork. So all these little piers, good areas to target right now. A lot of good black drum and speckled trout. Uh, wish all of y'all a safe and happy New Year's. 
and we'll see you on the water. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Monty Graham.